out, it's your girl Chanel, and welcome back to day two of Geek Week, the Chanel Music Edition. Yesterday, we touched on some piano basics, talked about the white keys and the black keys and the names of each key on the piano. Today, we're going to talk about melody versus harmony, which is still a part of piano basics. So let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to talk about melody versus harmony. Now, let's get into what melody is. Melody are the notes that are played separately. It is the tune that we all know and love from the song, the part that we can hum, the part that we can remember from a popular tune. So I thought it'd be kind of fun if I play three different melodies for you all today. And you all tell me in the comments below what song I played. Here's the first song. second melody can you guess what song I'm playing and the final song can you tell me what song I am playing Melodies, the tune, notes played separately. Now let's get into what harmony is. Now harmony are notes played together, more than one note played at the same time. This is how we get chords. Chords are specifically three or more notes played together simultaneously. Let's play another game. Let's see, based off of these chords, can you guess what song I'm playing. Here's a simple one. Here's another one that you might know. more song. Let's get into what a scale is. A scale is a group of notes that are sung or played in succession. That means in order. Now, if you remember from yesterday's video, this is the note C, and it happens to be middle C because middle C is found where? In the middle of the piano. Now, we're gonna focus on the major scale today. And a major scale is made up of a certain arrangement of half steps and whole steps. Now, half steps 
are the smallest interval in Western music and whole steps are two half steps combined. Now the arrangements of the major scale are as followed. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. For example, let's take C again. Let's figure out how to build the C major scale based off of those arrangements of half steps and whole step. So our first step was a whole step. So C to D is a whole step. The next step was a whole step as well. From D to E is a whole step. The next step is a half step. E to F is a half step. The next step is a whole step, F to G. The next step is a whole step, G to A. The next step is also a whole step, A to B. And finally, we have a half step, B to C. Here is your C major scale. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Now, each note in the scale has a special name called a scale degree. Let's talk about those right quick. So, the first and the last tones of the scale are called tonic, which means tonal center. This is home. The fifth tone, is called the dominant because it is the second important scale degree. It creates an instability that requires a resolution to the tonic. The fourth note is called the subdominant and it's named because it is below, hence the prefix sub, the dominant. Here is the dominant. This is the subdominant. These three scale degrees are the most important scale degrees. Tonic, subdominant, and dominant. Or one, four, and five. The third scale degree is called the median since it's between or in the middle of the tonic and the dominant. Likewise, the submediant, which is the sixth scale degree, is in the middle of the subdominant and the upper tonic. Now the second scale degree is called the supertonic because the prefix super is Latin for above. Now we have one more scale degree. This is called the leading tone, which is the seventh scale degree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The leading tone is called the leading tone because it wants to lead into the tonic. So we have tonic, supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submedian, leading tone, and upper tonic. Each scale degree also has chords and we identify these chords using Roman numerals. In a major scale, each chord can be identified as either major, minor, or diminished. Let's go through them. For our tonic chord, and remember a chord is three or more notes played together. Our tonic chord in this case is a C major chord represented with an uppercase I in Roman numerals. 
our supertonic chord is comprised of D, F, and A, and this quality is a minor chord represented with two lowercase i's in Roman numerals. Our mediant chord is E minor comprised of E, G, and B, and is three lowercase i's for Roman numerals. Our subdominant chord is F major, F, A, and C, and that is an uppercase I and an uppercase V for four in Roman numerals. Our dominant chord is a G major made up of G, B, and D. It is an uppercase V for five. Our submedian chord is A minor made up of A, C, and E, which is a lowercase v and a lowercase i. Our leading tone chord is B diminished, which is B, D, and F, which is a lowercase v, a lowercase i, and a lowercase i with a small degree symbol next to it, which means diminished. And then we have our upper tonic, which is C major, C, E, and G, which is an uppercase I. Tonic, supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submedian, leading tone, and tonic. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for more Geek Week, the Chanel Music Edition.